Kasakai Mandari, it's your boy, Yash. Wagwan people, it's me, Dirty, and you are watching British Indian Reacts. Welcome back. Yes, sir. Welcome back. And to me, Ata Kup Vera Nantar Maza video Bagata Hatar, we're really sorry because Maza second jab ota. And I was like not really 100% and Dhruti was not feeling well as well. So we took the time out and now we're back at it. Mm -hmm. And during this period, like a big, big, big collaboration happened in mm -hmm. Desi Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. Big mm -hmm. collaboration. Mm -hmm. And you know what that track was? It was uh, the Sidamot and MC Stan track, yeah. actually, guys. Yep. So Nanchaku. Nanchaku. Yes. Yes. Nanchaku, by the way is a hindi word for nunchucks mm -hmm. so when i told you it's nunchaku you was like what does that mean but it's nunchucks I, then I you thought, understood what it is i thought it was nunchuck yeah. but then i was like no maybe it's not maybe it's like a word little kids different use. Chaku. yeah 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 no no I, like i used to think like nunchaku is like a proper hindi word and you then know, it must be something else <laughs> i thought it was <laughs> when i first heard you say it i thought it was like some anime <laughs> no no and that's why but, i was like hmm that's hindi mm -hmm. yeah but during this period the song came out and we could not react to it straight away so instead what i did was i just listened to the track and you know Dhruti listened to the track as well and we did not react to it as reactors mm -hmm. we did not so slip the ball but we could not miss the opportunity to talk about the you know track because it's not but a song drop who i Desi hip hop scene me it's just created like you know uh, ripples of you know different opinions about this song now that we've had like a couple of days to reflect on the song I've, I've yeah. seen you know some people have like really good uh, you know positive feedback about it others have like mm, you shouldn't have said that so let's just start the video this is going to be like a you know review of the track mm -hmm. uh, I think I've already done a video where I was just speaking about, you know, who is MC Stan and what is he actually bringing to the table uh, to Indian hip hop. So maybe you should check that out. And this video is going to be something like that, you know, it's like a podcast session, but not a podcast because, you know, you're not doing it professionally. So yeah. not a podcast, but still it's a, it's a talk session about the song Nanchaku. So let's get it started. So this track jo tha na, it was from Azadi Records. Like we've done Azadi Records song before. Mm -hmm. I think the second reason we're doing this, like this style of a video is because last time we did get a copyright. So maybe their policies are quite strict. Maybe. And you know, that's why it's, it's, it's easier to do it. So let's give the shout out to, first of all, cover artwork, which was done by Anubhav Goswami, uh, label, you know, Azadi Records, and then video editor, Riddhi Hardkar. Uh, what did you think about the video, you know, this style, like, and the video director, Confuse, like, we've we've heard about this name before, like, it was in one yeah. of uh, Krishna songs, I believe, Confuse, I remember watching uh, a video directed by him, but no, that was a great video, what do you yeah. think? Yeah, but this, this video, when I watched it, I thought it was, like, just something that i haven't seen before like i really yeah. liked how i really enjoyed it i really liked how it was you know put together the editing the scenes the angles it was just it just looked Perfect. so yeah professional and you know it was just great like i'm used to i haven't really watched a lot of see their mod but i have seen mc stan and i know his style so mm seeing yeah. this was kind of like a refresher and plus i don't oh, yeah, think definitely. we've done hindi songs hindi rap for a little while yeah. now so it's just been super yeah. muswala uh, mixed uh, yeah. moose tape at the moment so having this was a bit of a you know refresher and yeah a bit of a yeah. break yeah hmm. it, was, it was a great time to release this track really because they see hip hop bahut zyada quiet ho chuka tha for a while like you know you needed some you know something like this to yeah. liven up the scene i think and talking about the video let's go back to talking about the video first um i thought the video was cool because number one it had a theme and number two it's just the little bits like you know 
first of all, I've never seen like MC Stan with a coloured. I've seen him with a coloured hair, but not with a beard. Oh, the style. So styling. he's got his, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he's got that Wu Tang beard now. You know, the goatee coloured mm-hmm. as well, in blue. Second thing, the 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 theme which I was talking about. The first thing, the theme which I was talking about. Um, Nanchaku, you saw like everyone like at, uh, you know, the tea stall. सब लोग चाय पी रहे थे एंड देन इफ यू सी इफ यू गो बैक एंड वॉच द वीडियो उसके जो जो चाय बना रहा था ना चाय वाला उसके गले में भी नानचाकू था सो इज लाइक यू नो नानचाकू घूमा था बंदा में खुदा का यू नो हाउ एम सी स्टान सेड इट सो यू नो ही इज लाइक एवरी वन हैविंग लाइक यू नो चाय ओवर द एन लाइक हीज गोट द नानचाकू सो आई वॉन्ट टू से लाइक द थीम वॉज इन थैक्ट लाइक इट फेल्ट लाइक यू नो एक साइड पे एक कलर था लाइक दे वॉज टू कलर यूज इज इन लाइक पिंक एंड Uh, mm-hmm. purplish kind of colors and then it just went from like pink purple and in like a full circle as well yeah. if you if you look at the video and there was a i believe there was a mustang in the video as well yeah, which was like it, a bit of a flex it looked like one yeah but it was yeah, yeah i see saying as like the stylist and you know stuff like that i thought what they were like dressed as and you know their clothes and they really it was kind of mm. like they were being a character which was themselves but also yeah. being in a like it was a proper music video because they had all the you know the the as you said the chaiwala with the Cha- you know, yeah. and you know yeah. it was it was just really good and it was kind of like something yeah like a i don't know like a a, a typical music video which was good to see yeah like a what you call like a well um financed one mm. if you want to say like you know it was good money spent Art on this one i think well. too <laughs> yeah yeah definitely and um the beat will come on, come on the come on the beat as well but the beat was something really really you know j trap style or you know just something really different than what we've heard before mm-hmm. and you know it was says on the beat so says always kills it yeah. and um Yeah and I watched um says and see the moth in you know the the red bull thing um and says kept you know giving like insights to how he produces like and mix and masters these beats and it was sick to you know get uh, insights from him and there's a lot of you know tiny things that go into like you know actually come up with a beat or you know coming up with you know such a clean track like in, to the ears as well it was so mm. pleasing and that's what's up that's what's up yes. so i said that's what's up because says keep saying that in you know kept saying that in the um red bull yeah. uh, spotlight when i watched it so that's what's up and <laughs> this was really cool yeah. so that's what's up my guy it was it was sick he killed it he I, killed it for me like the beat was kill, killer yeah i completely killer. agree i mean when the song started when the track started it hit me that it had like this east asian vibe to it being about non trucks yeah. so that's what you'd think yep. that's what i like it's like i don't know if they had written the lyrics first then the uh you I know then know. the music because i know there are some artists that prefer the music first then the lyrics or the opposite way around nah, so i this i think it was it was probably the beat was there mm. uh they worked on the beat um and then spit their bars uh depending how the beat was flowing and yeah. and then made the minor adjustments because because let me give you guys an easter egg if you guys missed it if you go to you know calm's verse uh he said in his verse or baju apni beat pe nahi dhunta type beat like mm-hmm. this you don't understand like people normal people won't even like you know pay attention to it but i did because you know if you're like a you know keen on listening to desi hip hop and you're like you know you want to spit bars and stuff like that and you want to you want to be like you know want to be i'm using these words want to be like someone like travis mm-hmm. scott or j cole then you go on you know oh i want like travis scott style beat type beat you know j cole type beat so he used that and he said you know or baju apni beat pe nahi dhunta type beat so that that was a very good you know that was a very good line from calm Yeah. Uh, for me I actually calm was like the illest like he had the illest pen uh, among the three for me. Yeah, I agree. I mean there were some lines in there that were 
that were good from both both of them from see their mod um yeah and yeah for me it was calm that kind of you know carried it carried it for me and yeah. also because like i think for me it just had a bit more meaning as well meaning to it yeah yeah yeah, yeah well if, you, if like encore obviously i really liked how we opened the track mm. you know kokele koke pe koke mukote it was it was you know it was a bit his, of his like own, a like, tongue twister right? tongue twister like you can't mm. even you if you, i'm reading the lyrics right now uh for this you know episode but oh even if you like read the lyrics you can't spit it the way he did like yeah. know, he was flowing and he just mm. went on on one like that's see the mod for you but ho oh, and cool the way he opened up this track was perfect perfect good. Yeah. and you know l- lines such as you know he's just referencing like you know jay viru uh, jodi jo likhe wo shole mm-hmm. so you know i don't have to explain to the audience but you know stuff like this really counts when um when it comes to you know uh, meaningful rap and stuff mm-hmm. like nanchaku i i jab maine naam hi suna na ye ye gana drop karne wale nanchaku and you know at 12 and i thought wow like the name itself that means there will be some like you know killer shots like killer blows yeah. and honestly like they lived up to my expectation like it was it was a banger it was a banger no doubt like god sorry yeah i just something just hit me so like, like i know the title of the track you know it's nanchaku nunchucks and yeah. you know how like when they're used it's really fast and short so yeah i've just realized like how um you know n cause how his start yeah. is yeah. it's like really short words perfect yeah and um you know it's short words and it's kind of like yeah he has the you know kokle kokle and then he has you know the beko what was it beko ke mukarte whatever sorry guys yeah, yeah. i'm i'm yeah. trying <laughs> yeah i get what you're saying but um yeah. it was it's you know it's not the alliteration but the way it's just written and the rhythm it i don't know if they were trying to make it kind of like in the rhythm of how you use those nunchucks yeah, yeah. oh But yeah could be mm. the short words and then the long it, it kind of fits for me and i thought it's just yeah, yeah just seeing just thinking about it now like when i first heard it and it started you know you had the vibes it that's what had, i'm saying yeah the yeah. opener Mm. of it was like nunchucks like you yeah. know yeah and the perfect. opening the opening just literally just kind of hits you and then you mm. get taken into the track so much that mm. you know you forget that you forget about you know what you should be looking at like you know the reason behind mm. the song or you know things like that so that's why i feel nah, like cool. guys if you're going to watch it watch it but also take your time trying to like figure things yeah. out like w- watch it again and again i think i would mm. say like as reactors i don't know how many many of the reactors ke baaki ke reactors ke video nahi dekhe like what did they say uh, about this track but i feel like even as reactors like you cannot catch a lot a lot of stuff that we are speaking about first time because i really watched it like a couple of times to really really pick out bits in every single verse and everything that was going on and the flow change and oh it was yeah. it was it was something else there's i know? think there's going to be a lot of reactors like obviously we have the reactors that are used to picking out a lot of things and yeah. analyzing lyrics and videos um and then there's going to be you know just people who don't react normally but you know just enjoy it and they'll yeah. probably pick out more because they're so invested yeah you're going to enjoy this one artist yeah and i yeah. think the more you know the artist the more you're going to realize things in their lyrics yeah. and videos so yeah yeah also like it wasn't just you know calm who was like preaching in his verse it was also in co like stuff like he said aage nahi badhte karte bad bad you know and I really did not understand like this bit when he said yahan billi nikli haj par nigla use wahan pe ek ajgar 
Mm-hmm. So it could be a deeper reference to someone else that I'm missing out like yeah. at this point. Uh, I think there's a few really deep references in here. Yeah, ucha nahi hota koi aur auron pe chadkar. Uh-huh. Na hi kuch hota hai karam se badhkar. So mm-hmm. it was good like it wasn't just like you know just random stuff it was like really thoughtful like bars. I yeah. I feel it was good. Like itne mein to you know Bollywood ke to 6 7 gaane ban jate hain. you know on these bits like you know yeah, on, on these like the thoughts you know yeah. what they've put into yeah uh, let's come on well. to let's come on to now calms verse mm-hmm. calms verse was like oh my god like as i said before like nidunta type beat and you know stuff like what he said yeah. and you know now the, come 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 down and he said like buzzer kara beat uh, mara teen you know a three pointer uh-huh. kobe like kobe yes. you know kobe. and then nishana jaise curry stephen curry mm-hmm. uh, bada tapman shish so it was you know and then that bit like you know like ball pencil it's like you know stuff you would say like, <laughs> like as a kid you would say like oh ball pencil ball pencil <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. teri shaadi cancel or whatever like you know <laughs> papa ko kaise karega cancel so it was like you know nostalgic as well yep. in, in, and as we keep saying like hip hop has to be relatable in a lot of ways to actually love that track mm-hmm. and this track was so relatable like especially like calms and you know you know see the mods stuff was very much relatable to me and and i really loved it like you know like one of the bits he said like you know ek saal hum log jab ek venue mein the kya fake abad yeah fake abad and then and then, uh, and the then kara ek saal sold out yeah, mm-hmm. sold out in the same venue like that is like some in like motivational Yes. for me and oh it was it was it was it was a lot of words like i could just pick out here but you know it would long out the video <laughs> to at least an hour <laughs> if i if i go through like every bar oh it's good yeah i feel you like know? that's why i was i was agreeing with you how i feel his has a bit more meaning to it like yeah that kind of relates to everyone so It's like really good and he's he's got a lot of facts in there I feel like. Yeah. Mera flow kare taekwondo, you know, na jaye koi to by to, you know. Oh, he he killed it. Then come into, you know, um, you know, topics such as he he actually uh made sure he was speaking about, you know, how at this moment in time India mein freedom of speech to kuch rahi nahi hai. Mm-hmm. And you know, he 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 went on that as well like, you know, on those topics you know likhne se pehle hi tum log ne hath mod diye you know in ke upar and and that's why these guys are see them out they they kill it they kill it every time yep. and they do not you know just you know what you call like wo uh, kuch bolna hai to wo log aise like kya bolte hai yaar i want to put it in a nice way they do not hold back never hold back yes. on anything and they will always say whatever they have to and that's why you know their songs are lit really yeah, they, their, their they songs live are up. lit they live up to what their name is see their mouth because yeah exactly literally they'll kill you straight away <laughs> their lyrics give me the logo <laughs> <laughs> oh god the logo don't get me started logo is, on that <laughs> I, i like it i first you like it it's like sick it's like you know the dot the head becomes the full stop you know it's, it's good, done it's yeah, done but it's you killer know, when you say the word see their mouth it doesn't sound so violent and then you see the logo and you're like okay Uh, yeah, this is yeah. violent. Uh, hold on, and then when you see these two, they're violent. When it when it comes <laughs> to like rapping, they kill it. They kill it. These these two boys are killer, yeah. honestly. And mm-hmm. and and the last bit I want to just pick out is like you know he said, "Jole lena tuje Twitter pe action." So it's it's a subliminal to someone, mm-hmm. and you know, and tum jo bhi kar rahe ho. it's not going to affect the bags I'm getting. So I'm not you know making any less money. In fact, yeah. if anything, in hip hop. the more noise you make the more bags you make so yeah. you know people want to get you're relevant, into that drama stay people, relevant exactly people want to know public wants to know you know oh who are they talking about why are they talking about this person yeah, exactly. there's got to be drama especially here. india who yeah. loves drama yeah, big boss wali country the song, there's got to be the, a subliminal yeah. guys <laughs> yeah exactly so you know in fact if anyone is trying to like you know play games with calm uh, on twitter you know take digs at him is is only going to benefit him for the you know the 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 controversy that's going to create or even like the discussions around it because mm-hmm. what he's doing is already killing you know the scene 
Yeah. And there was one night, I don't know who it was, Kham or Inko, it's like, Banja Zameen Pe Kada Ki Am Long Ne Seen, you know, all this scene right now. And which is kind of true, like, they've been here in the game for a long time now. Mm-hmm. So, pff, yeah. No. Most awaited. Makai Volta Mandari, let's come on to MC Stan, <laughs> shall we? Oh my God. Like, <sighs> I don't know, like, where to start. Thandale Kaam, you know, he? That, it was controversial because many have seen that DMC, you know, she, she said, like, you shouldn't have said stuff, which I kind of agree. Yeah. But let me give my take on this, uh, on MC Stan's words, then you can, you know, share your views as well. Mm-hmm. But, I also said that MC Stan is a different guy. Don't, you know, drag MC their moth into it because see their moth, these guys let MC Stan be himself, you know? Yeah. You just do your thing, you know? MC Stan do your thing. And that's what he's done. He's he's not gone into like, you know, preaching mode. He was in his style. He preached in his own way. Yeah. You know? He's like, he they both went like, blah, 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 this. And then MC Stan comes on. He's like, you know, Thanda le ka, you know? Thandale kaam, kya bolta maam, you know? Mupe in ke thuku me pakaya mene paan. So, you know, he just, you know, it's not like, you know, it it wasn't like, you know, it just dipped because MC Stan came on. It's just, sta- it's, you know, stabilized, you know, the the whole vibe of the track. It was like, you know, it, it switched. because The beat didn't switch, but he switched. The, mm. You know, it went to like hot, 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 and then straight away cold, like yeah. cold bars. And stuff he said, like, you know, person there aaj bhi wo par lekin, like, you know, I get it. It's It's offensive. You know, people are going to get offended in India. They are going to get offended. But let's be honest. What are you talking about? This is hip hop. And you pick out anyone's like, you know, um, you can't single out MC Stan really. In India, you could because he's doing it. You know, no one else is doing it. Yeah, he's But an individual. If you, doing it. if you look at all the other rappers um, abroad, they say stuff like that. And they it's just it's just being in hip hop like. I get I get DMC's like you know uh, frustration but it's it's just him like uh, he's just different like I don't agree with that line I personally do not agree with what he's trying to say there mm-hmm. but you got to be like you know I don't know it's just a open topic for discussion really like what yeah. do you think about that or what I, do you think about that I it's, do it's think... like so, I think But, but hold on i think you should just like listen to it and just forget it like enjoy mm-hmm. the song and that's it like you don't really literally take it to your heart oh isne kya bol diya and you could say some stuff like you know about a boy as well like yeah. bad stuff in hip hop is because hip hop is real like you just say whatever you want like really yeah. you know it's an expression so i don't know like uh, abroad you know they talk they ref- refer to like you know whole bitch and it's just you know not taken to heart it's because many jaise bola tha who is mc stan what is mc stan bring into you know indian hip hop he's like i keep saying his sound he himself is like 5 10 years ahead in hip hop okay not as a human in hip hop he's 5 10 years ahead for indian hip hop what he's doing is literally what artists are doing abroad right now and he's doing the same in india and that's why sometimes people are like oh that's not acceptable you know Mm-hmm. that's my take on it yeah i get what you're saying you know him him bringing his own flavor he has his own vibe in the song he had his own vibe you could tell yeah. his his verse was completely different to um you know the two artists from see them all but yeah i do understand where mc d is coming from but there must be a re- there is De- most definitely a deeper reason why she could be, yeah. has said that i mean also you saying like hip hop you know people say things and uh, you just listen and forget in a way no I you think- don't oh, well that's why you have the the tool to actually raise your voice then mm-hmm. you didn't like it yeah you got your pen you got your mic spit it yeah you know but i think it's also Battle because it out. I think it's also because um you know hip hop is kind of known as you speak the truth you speak your mind maybe there's something like the deeper meaning behind it but yeah, yeah. maybe because 
I guess in a few of his most of his songs, there's always something about you know, yeah, I know a bit too that's, rude that's his... towards women. It which... is, but 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 his is, you gotta understand his lifestyle is how it is in Stan ki. Hmm. You know, as a person, he's not normal in any yeah. way. Do you see him as a normal rapper or normal guy? No, no he's not he normal. Not a normal so, so any so you should not take you know so much. to your heart like what tumhe nahi bol raha hmm. he's just saying to his like ex or someone he had experience in that way and that's lost his you know whole uske mentality se socho na be in his own shoes as well yeah. and why is he writing stuff like that so he saw it that way he put it in a song and now you're judging it and you're taking it on to you no it's not for you you know is is for is it's just a song like <laughs> I, I I might get caught into something and they will like just play my you know whatever I'm saying <laughs> on just loop. Just a song. But, <laughs> no, it's not. You got to listen to the whole thing I'm saying about MC Stan. I yeah. I get what he's saying but mm. obviously it's not acceptable in India at the moment so. Yeah, I think I think people are obviously not open to that kind of language. Yeah, very definitely not. Very definitely not especially in Hindi. Yeah, because <laughs> I guess in Hindi. I guess American hip hop is very widely known like if kids are yeah. listening to it their parents would kind of know they're listening to it and it's just a type of like a type of language now for you yeah. know people let me let use. me put it this way i was just thinking let me put it this way right you take mc stan's verse go on genius that's what we're looking up on uske har ek verse ko na english mein translate karo wo jo kya bol raha hai na pasand hai aaj bhi wo you know blah 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 translate it in english and then say the same verse again and think about it as if it was a western hip hop song mm-hmm. all of it yeah until the end and you will say yeah. well that's okay that's okay and that's just a normal hip hop song mm-hmm. you know but when it comes to matravasha you know hindi <laughs> you're not going to accept it you know in indian hip hop and I that's i think that's how it, dirty. it is it just sounds it more does, does, rude does. and more rude. disrespectful when it's in hindi yeah. yes yeah. because yeah. you know in <laughs> india we don't to... speak like that to people that, yeah. you know yeah. it's not like i get you get the slang you get everything like that you may speak like you may say certain words to your friends but you won't go to your friends even here you won't go to your friends and be like oh you're a prostitute as a joke yeah uh, yeah it's a bit i think it's just the words you know they're just yeah. not very nice no but i think it's not acceptable okay mm-hmm. that's it just put an end to the discussion because it will just go on forever it's not acceptable mm-hmm. it's just mc stan and he's put his own yeah. words and if anyone has a problem you know take up your pen and you got your mic and spit it and if you're really like you know got the anger and frustration in you you will spit like hard and people will definitely relate to you and then they will support you and then you know you can cancel you know him out if you mm-hmm. really want to but mm-hmm. that's my view uh, you know battle it out that's it yeah. that's all i'm going to say you got a problem battle it out is hip hop at the end of the day that's true mm-hmm. true true yeah yeah uh, and then you know he comes to preaching more than he's like you know he's talking about his ops which i really like <laughs> the way he said it in in marathi and you know that <laughs> line i don't want to go on there because everyone's heard it you know he's 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 speaking in marathi and mujhe sab pata lag gaya wo kya bol raha tha but there was like sub some subliminals uh underground artist ko do daba tha you know button nahi chaba tha yeah i don't know who he was taking a dig at but it's just a, probably a general dig at everyone like nowadays no one's like laying underground uh rappers come up because it's like just now these few guys are now the main guys who of of the scene who are taking the scene up now so it's probably just a dig at just a general dig at everyone who's doing it Yeah. Um and there's also yeah. there's also the part where you know he's he's kind of speaking like you know I'm no different to you guys where he's he's saying uh galti ho gayi I am a human. Yeah. You know. Exactly. And I guess exactly. he he probably gets a lot of crap from people about his Oh, lyrics. he does. So Definitely. You know, it's just his style. I mean, you have to accept people these days. Yeah. Be a bit exactly. More open. be 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 open what he's saying mm, just step in their shoes and why he's actually saying that yeah, exactly. and maybe you'll get it and, and you have a choice but he always apologizes like 
you know oh kab kab bhi galti ho gayi you know i am just a human you know at the yeah. end of the day and i guess you so have a he, choice you have a choice to listen to his music so if you don't like it don't like it don't don't, don't listen like to it, it. Yeah, exactly if don't you, listen to it exactly i love it <laughs> 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 i love it because the way i listen to it is like oh if he's saying it in english it would be acceptable oh that's mm-hmm. okay then <laughs> so yeah. anyway but there was also a lot in his verse that i did not understand because is his slang marathi? is his oh, yeah, yeah. uh some of the slang I, mean, i can if... easily have you translate the marathi for me but there's just the meaning behind the words or the sentences he's using which don't yeah even i sometimes really fit together for me but yeah sometimes it's, i guess it's, it's for the flow like it's a, like a filler line yeah i would say for mm-hmm. the flow because his flow is killer like no one can match it like mc stan he just goes in his own element and <laughs> bomb and The, the last part of it i want you to just talk about it and he you know um um chhod da liye bachkan pana meri baju wali sana mera unreleased gana mm-hmm. so i think he's this two things now here um it is probably an unreleased track on you know whatever he said and also the second thing i remember mc stan coming on live and saying like what ha- used to happen was mc stan would play his because mc stan is so like open human like well, pff, as i said he's just another human hmm. you've come on you know live or usne unreleased gaane play kiye now these idiots here yeah, they took a screenshot of his songs and uploaded on youtube and created a content id now when mc stan went to release his own track he was getting copyright he's like how is that happening and then he realized and you know he was releasing unreleased track for people like his fans as a nice way to do it like you know mm-hmm. thoda hype bada but what was happening was people were like creating copyright claims for his own track oh, which nice. is you know not good at all That's so he got pissed off he's like he came on the live he's like i'm never doing that shit again never doing that again never that so, is not fair yeah. guys you can't not yeah, do that not, <laughs> to any artist really Do you not like, create I mean, content IDs because that way no. you know it's not your work. It's his hard work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's his hard work. Mm-hmm. And then he's rapping at the end matrabasha you know get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so which is like you know him in his elements. So I think them all three coming together was nanchaku for me. Like really it was like it went one two you know back yeah. forth back forth you know and then when you know banda mein khuda ka ka nanchaku ghumata it was <laughs> MC Stan killed it. I liked it, but it was for me. It was you know calm. He wasn't calm at all on the track. No, he was you know, thanda le calm. Isle you know MC Stan ko bhi bola pada like you know thanda le thanda le calm. Kya bolta mom you know mm-hmm. even he was like yo calm down calm. Yeah. So it was it was a good track. So it that's it guys. Track. That was that was our uh, review of the track. It's gonna be long, but you know it deserves. you know something like this not just a reaction video i think it was a maybe it's a breakdown video i don't know what we did I was just talking about it i don't know so, yeah. yeah 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 if you like the video just like karo subscribe karo please and then we shall see you in another video until then take stay safe bye